the nations and the rulers of the nations come to the brightness of your rising. Arise, arise in the time of our darkness. Arise in the time of gross darkness. Lord, arise, arise upon your people. Arise upon this nation. Arise and let your truth prevail. Let your justice and your righteousness manifest at a level that we have never seen in the earth at this time. That men will fear God and that the Son of Man may find faith when He returns, the faith that believes that you, God, shall avenge us who cry out night and day speedily from our adversaries. And those who have done things at this time and at this hour, we come to you. We say, let thy justice be served now. And with our eyes, we shall see the reward of the wicked. And we shall see the seed of the wicked cut off in their agenda. That it shall not be a harvest in this day or future generations, we pray. We look to you, our God, and we trust in you. We trust in you. Oh, God, we trust in you. So I pray, arise, O oh God, and let thy enemies be scattered and brought to justice. Come on. In Yeshua's glorious name. How many believe that we're going to see the justice of God? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're already seeing it. Praise God. You know what I feel at this time? Listen, there is something that is the greatest, I think, in my life. It's outside of my salvation. It's probably one of the greatest gifts that God gave me. And it's the, not only the person of the Holy Spirit who came at the time that I said, Jesus, come into my heart forgive my sins the Bible says that at that moment the Holy Spirit cried out and he connected me to my father and the Spirit cried out Abba Father but there's another another great blessing it's called the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I thank God for it because Jesus said you would receive power after not he didn't say before he said after the Holy Ghost comes upon thee and you will be my witnesses you will demonstrate my power. You will have a boldness and an authority in your day no matter what you face. And I believe in all my heart that there are those of you that are watching today and there are those of you in this room. You have the Holy Spirit. You have Mark, or excuse me, John chapter 4 where Jesus sat at the woman at the well. And he said, woman, the, the drink that I give you, the water, is going to be in you a well of salvation springing up unto eternal life. And when we get saved, that's what happens. We drink, and we don't ever have to thirst and look for anything else. But then Jesus, a few chapters later in John 7, he said, listen to me. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And how be it he was speaking, it says in John 7, 37 through 39, of the Holy Spirit who had not yet been given. There's a power, there's a rush of power. And so if you're here today, and you're watching by uh, all the social media means or on One Voice TV and you've never been filled with the Holy Spirit or maybe you've had people pray for you but you've never yielded to the utterance of speaking in other tongues. It's not you making things up. It's you're filled with the Spirit and you begin to speak as you yield to the Holy Spirit. So if you're here today and you've never been filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, that is the initial evidence I can show you throughout Scripture that every time that they were filled with the Holy Spirit, there was some kind of evidence. Some, it, they literally said they spoke in tongues at that moment, but you can also look at the different examples and see that they in fact spoke in tongues. Amen? So, if you're here today, I want you to come out boldly. We need a bold people today. Maybe you've been struggling with it. Well, put that struggle away. Can I tell you something? The media, are they, are they lacking boldness? 
No, they're speaking in, in foreign tongues. But it isn't supernatural by God. It's strange tongues enhanced by a lying demon. Well, you need to know how to counter that. And one of the ways that you do it is you be filled with the Holy Spirit with power. And you, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, when you pray in tongues, you speak mysteries to God. So come on. I want you to come down here. I know that you're here. I'm just telling you, I can feel it or God wouldn't have me go this way. Today's the time. Let's, let's get filled with the Holy Spirit. We're going to pray in other tongues. All right. Good for you, man. How you doing, Mike? Wow, I love your shirt. Man. That's, that's incredible. All right. We're going to get filled with the Holy Spirit. I want the altar workers to come. Pastor Doug, I want you to come. Pastor, I want you to come. Also, Pastor Keith, I want you to come. I want you to get behind some people. <clears throat> Amen. Brenda, you're always real good at this. Brenda, I, I watch her. She prays for people. They get filled with the Holy Spirit pretty quick. It's amazing. How tall are you? Like six, seven? You're like seven foot? I, I figured, I, I went lower because I was like, man, if I say seven foot and he goes, no, six, seven, I didn't want to think that I thought you were really tall, but you really are. You're a man of stature, but you know what? That's who you are in the natural. Man, look at this. Do you ever, did you play football or something? Basketball? I mean, that was probably the right question. And of course, you were never a horse jockey. Neither was I. But you're, you are a man of stature in the natural, but you're going to be in the spirit, man. You're going to be tall. Hi. Thanks for coming up, guys. All right. All right. Why don't we do this? Why don't we slide down just a little bit, give them room so they're not over by the jib, where they're trying to get filled with the Holy Spirit, and they got this thing hanging over their head, right? All right. Pastor Brenda, beautiful lady. It's good to have you back. And uh, since it's your first day back, I'm putting you to work. So <clears throat> we also have those beautiful people right there. But this is amazing to me. You're going to get filled with the Holy Spirit. Every one of you guys, you ready? All right, now I want to just give you one instruction. Have you ever, if, if I went like this, did you understand anything I said? No, and neither will you. I, I didn't hardly understand what I said, even though I knew what I said. I said, how are you doing? It's good to have you here today. But if you don't move your mouth, and yield to that even without speaking in tongues and just in your native language what good is it same way when the holy spirit comes upon you you're gonna you're gonna need to do something you're gonna need to speak you're gonna need to put volume behind it you need you're gonna need to open your mouth and when you do the holy spirit he'll fill you and you'll begin to speak in tongues and i want to encourage you just close your eyes at that moment too so you're not worrying or thinking now look at there's enough people nobody in here has to feel uncomfortable all right pastor brenda take it away Time to go to work. I want to, add, I want to add to the instruction that you gave. You know, when the Bible says they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, it says they began to speak in tongues. So, you know, the Holy Spirit isn't going to just force you to talk. You're going to have to cooperate with the Holy Spirit and open your mouth. It's still you doing the talking, but it's Him taking those utterances and and forming them to words. The Bible says we speak with groanings that cannot be uttered. That word there in the Greek means inarticulate speech so it's the sounds of the spirit but you cooperating with the Holy Spirit and that is so key some people think well if I'm gonna speak in tongues the Holy Spirit is just gonna open my mouth by force he won't do that you agree with him all right well let's just all pray this prayer together those of you that are in the line and those uh, those of you out there let's stretch our hands and all of you watching to be filled with the Holy Spirit, I want you to pray this out loud. Don't focus on anyone around you, just the Holy Spirit. Say this, say, Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for Jesus. Who died for me. Who died for me. He hung on a cross. He hung on a cross. He took stripes upon his back. Took stripes upon you. So that I could be saved. So I could be saved. And Jesus, and Jesus, come in my heart. Come in my heart. Forgive all my sins. Forgive all I commit my life to you. I commit my life to you. And now, Holy Spirit, now Holy Spirit, I ask you. I ask. You, fill me. Fill me with the overflowing. With the overflowing. Power. Power. 
power. Fire of God. Fire of God. And I, according to the Bible, and according to the I Bible, fully expect, I fully expect to speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. As your Spirit gives me the and utterance. As your Spirit gives me the utterance. Now, everyone out there sure that so. pray in the Spirit, I want you to pray. Those of you begin here, to begin to your move your mouth, mouth move second. your tongue. Close your eyes. Come on. Do it with boldness as best you can, where your ears can hear you. If you just get a few syllables, that's okay. You just let the Holy Spirit work in you and through you. You're doing real good. Just move your mouth and tongue if that's all you can do and put a little volume behind it. You're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. Now put a little more volume if you can. Oh, Kalava Masse, Keleva Mose. Oh, Kalava, you're doing it. You're doing it. Come on, Shekeleva Bokora. Oh, Roboso Kalava Baka. Oh, Kalava Ma. Come on, it's just you and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Kalava Masse, Kay. Oh, Kalava Masse, Kiato. Oh, Katapa Seke. Oh, Kalama Sutere. Ria da la 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 Masse, Kiato la la Masse, Kalava Mate. Oh, Kalava Masse. Eko Toto la la Mate. Rita la 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 Bakia, Sole de Bakia do. Oh, Kalava Masse, Kalava Masse. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Kalava Masse, Kia la la Mate. Eko Kalava Masse. Oh, Kalava Mate, Bakia do. Come on, those of you online, I want you to connect just like we're doing right now. Come on, could you about see Parenemere Kia to Robobo Sabrava Babacate? Recipere di disse Brunda Mada de Desse Cristo Mandare de Vista de Bohana Bacaya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We worship you. Those of you that are watching, just open your mouth and give, come on, give it volume. Matele le barre. Give it volume. Let yourself hear. Come on, come on, boss. That's it. Raise up the volume. Mate, open your mouth. Metite. Ruse, brusa, maradete. Ribarate, yes, again. Come on, louder. Libarate. Do I want attitude? Yield to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Boy, doesn't that feel good? All right. Let me ask you a question. How many of you in this line, you can honestly tell? That something different happened to you. Raise your hand if you can. Look at this. All of these guys, you, man. By the way, you did it. Now, keep you, what I want to encourage you because you're a bold dude because I see what you drive. Real men drive that. Real men wear this shirt, right? You're a real man. That's what Mr. T said. I'm a real man. I pity the fool. I'm a real man. Remember what Balboa said though? Oh yeah. Well, you ain't nothing, you know. But here's the deal. Do it bolder, okay? Yes. So raise up the volume. Do it with an attitude. Like you are, you're just, you're fed up with all the stuff the enemy's been trying to throw at you and pray in tongues, all right? All right, seven foot, you're, you're closer to God than all of us by way of <laughs> height, so can you tell something different? Yeah, you can. All right, we'll, we'll keep working with you. How about you, young man? Yeah, you're good. How about you? You, you? All right, let's give them a hand clap. Pastor Doug, in your hand also you have, let me just give this, you have a booklet, White Tongues, and if you have questions, get your Bible out. How many of you have Bibles? You can just compare this with the scripture about what you just received. And uh, it ha it's probably the basic, easiest 
explanation, best book on this. And just make sure you have your Bible so you can compare the scriptures and see it in your Bible and know what you've received. Well, I'm so proud of you. You guys are bold, man. Way to go. Can I encourage yeah, them? Let All me right, en encourage before those that are you're seated, ready. I just want to encourage you. Don't just let this be the only time. You need to, I, I hate to use the word practice, but, you know, we had to all learn how to pray in English, right? I mean, that's important. So practice praying in the spirit. And you might think, well, am I just making that up? You know, dismiss that because the Bible says, Jesus said, when you ask for the Holy Spirit, God won't give you a counterfeit. He'll give you the real thing. So you practice doing that. When I first was filled with the spirit, I had like a syllable, but I was determined. And the gentleman that wrote the book that you're holding, he said these words. He says, the minute the devil told me, well, that's just you. You made that up. Say, well, I'm going to do it 30 minutes. And then when he, he said at the end of the devil, at the end of 30 minutes, if I still have a thought in my head that you just made that up, that was just you speaking a lot of gibberish, I'm going to do it an hour. I'm telling you, get settled and continue to pray in tongues. It's just you and God. Nobody's going to hear you. Just get by yourself and do it. And I promise you pretty soon you'll be an expert in the things of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Give them a hand, everybody. Let's tell them that we are so thankful. All right. Yep. So, all right, well, why don't we turn around and do this? Let's uh, love on one another, hug on somebody, and say this. Say, Lord, say, say this to the people around you. Say, I know the Lord is doing something in your life that's about to shock you. Come on, you got to prophesy when you came to church this morning. God bless you.